Okay, so you have a bunny or two or maybe three of them and you give them the most luxurious life possible, but you're still not sure if they understand just how much you love them. Let's face it, sometimes the communication can get lost in translation. I've previously made a video on how to know if your rabbit loves you, but let's flip the script this time. While rabbits are intelligent, sensitive, and loving animals, the caveat is that you have to speak their language in order to have a relationship with them. So let's unpack the 10 ways you can tell your rabbit you love them. Before we move on, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and hit the notification bell for unlimited bunny content. Number one, head rubs, AKA grooming. Head rubs are by far the most important way to express your love for your bunny. In rabbit hierarchy, when a rabbit bows down, they're showing you who's boss. This behavior establishes you as the submissive beta who must abide by them, the alpha, and their demand to be groomed on the head. Grooming is how bunnies show respect for the chain of command. Yes, your bunny can groom you in return, but expect that you will be viewed as the submissive in the relationship. Furthermore, when you stroke your rabbit's head, a sense of pleasure goes through their entire body. It is extremely relaxing for them. That's why when you do this, your rabbit will close their eyes and shatter their teeth, which is a sign of pure bliss. Number two, talking to them. A 1978 scientific study conducted by Dr. Robert Nurem discovered that rabbits that were talked to and given affection when being fed their food lived longer and healthier lives than rabbits that were not. The sound of your voice will certainly calm your rabbit and make you instantly recognizable to them. So feel free to gossip about your next door neighbor all you want, to your rabbit that is. Number three, getting down at their level. As prey animals, rabbits find anything hovering above them intimidating. By getting down on their level, literally and figuratively, you're letting them know, hey, I'm not trying to hurt you and I want you to trust me. Number four, apologizing, AKA touching heads. Did you know that rabbits apologize by touching their heads? They will also attempt to use this body language on other animals. So if you feel you've done something wrong, well, swallow your pride and say you're sorry. Your rabbits will greatly appreciate this gesture and it'll let them know just how much you really care. An extension of this behavior is also exude in bunnies who are bonded together as they often sleep with their heads facing each other. It's definitely the ultimate sign of love and trust. Number five, smell like them. Let's face it, rabbits like to own their humans. To them, you are their territory. Spend enough time with your bunny and you'll wind up with their scent all over you. This includes bed sheets, clothes, hair, even the couch. They also want to make sure you haven't been cheating on them with another bunny or even another animal. They can tell when you've been somewhere else. So immerse yourself in this act of love and let your bunny claim you as their own. Prepare their favorite food. A no-brainer, right? This can include treats, but it doesn't necessarily mean you should overload them on sugar. Treats should be given in moderation. Rabbits love eating the healthy stuff too, so even sprinkling their favorite herbs over their dinner will give them great satisfaction. And it's the perfect way to tell them you love them too. Number seven, a massage. Who doesn't like a good massage? Massages lower blood pressure, help mobilize digestion, and an added benefit is you can detect health problems your bunny might have. For instance, GI stasis, lumps, bumps, sores, matted fur. Your bunny will absolutely know you love them if you pamper them this way. And frankly, it's probably a stress reliever for you too. Just make sure you're being gentle. Nose nudges, not to be confused with touching heads. Rabbits express their need for attention by nose nudging. 
It's a simple courtesy that also shows them you're ready to participate in a grooming session. It can also just mean, hello, how are you, in rabbit language. Their surrounding whiskers have special follicles with extra sensitive nerves that are stimulated whenever they are touched. As a result, your rabbit will use their whiskers to get information about their surroundings, including you when you give them a nose nudge. Providing them with fun toys. You might have to woo your rabbit in the same way you'd woo a person of interest, by providing them with enrichment and gifts. These toys don't have to be glamorous at all, but a little creativity goes a long way. Remember, it's the thought that counts, and your rabbits will associate you with being a giver, not just a taker. Most importantly, let's not forget that rabbits need stimulation in order to stay healthy and happy, and they'll be less likely to be bored and destructive. Number 10, not ignoring them. Ignoring your bunny is the ultimate sign of disrespect. If they're asking you for attention, it means they want love. So yeah, you'll kind of have to stop what you're doing and get to work. Remember, you are the submissive. If you do ignore them, they'll probably resent you and make a mental note of this insult. Trust me, you'll get payback in some fashion soon enough. And here's an honorable mention outside of this list. Let your bunny be themselves. Remember, rabbits are not babies, dogs, or cats, or hamsters. And oftentimes, humans will try to project the behaviors of other animals onto them because they're so misunderstood. Let your rabbits engage in their natural rabbit behaviors, like digging, chewing, exploring, running around freely, and not being confined to a small cage. They'll love you for not trying to change them or force them to do something they don't want to do. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it informative and that it will help you communicate with your bunny just how much you love them. If you want to see the 10 ways to know your bunny loves you, as well as my video on rabbit body language, I'll link those in the description below for you. Our question of the day is, what are your favorite things to talk about with your bunny? As usual, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.